IT and LeBron played just 15 games together. Why do you believe the Cavs gave up on him so quickly? Well, first off, David, let's, I want to pump the brake a second. This is an absolute home run deal for the Los Angeles Lakers. They have got to be, as soon as they get off this trade call that they're having with the NBA right now, they're going to take a victory lap. They have been trying for months to clear uh, cap space. And the Lakers just made an incredibly huge major move. They have now cleared the two max salary spots that they need for their dreams this summer of going after LeBron James. The Cavaliers have just cleared a path for the Lakers to go after Paul George and LeBron James this summer. This is an incredibly complex and dynamic trade with so many different angles to it. But the Lakers not only clear the cap space by getting rid of two guys they were supposed to pay next year, but they also get a first round pick in the deal, which they can use to draft a young player or they can use to try to attach to Luol Deng to get off of his contract and potentially open nearly three max slots this summer. Um, so first off, I have to just say that the, this is a major move for the Los Angeles Lakers, who just a couple of days ago were in punt formation to, put, to send it down to 2019. Now, for the Cavs, this is also a major move. The Cavs, after hedging for months and months and months, are finally saying we are going to go in to try to keep LeBron James because they have now taken on for next season an additional $16 million in salary with Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nance, and they just helped one of the major suitors for LeBron clear space for him. So, you know, you can go back and look and relitigate the Kyrie trade and say that Isaiah Thomas didn't work and everything like that, but they, at this point on trade deadline day, have finally made a decision between standing on the fence about the future and deciding that they're going to try to do something to keep LeBron James interested.